Garage Comedian. It's a beautiful day for a joke. And now it's time for Garage Comedian News. Hello and welcome back to the Garage Comedian News. I'm the Garage Comedian. Some teens broke into a New Jersey petting zoo after hours, letting 60 animals loose and putting lipstick on a miniature pony. Onlookers say the pony was visibly distraught. Clearly he was not a big fan of that shade. I would have gone with a nice candy gloss myself. I just love ponies, don't you? I hate anyone that ever had a pony when they were growing up. Anyone? I'll miss you, my little pony. <laughs> Vice President Mike Pence in a Republican National Committee speech vowed, we're going to make America great again, again. That statement, of course, implies that the administration failed in its initial attempt to make America great and are now angling to come back for sloppy seconds. You're just in a slump. You'll be great again. Is it just me or does Mike Pence have a Dan Quayle feel about him? For all you millennials, Google quail and potato. You'll see what I mean. Makeup guru Jeffree Star grabbed headlines over allegations he is paying his new boyfriend to date him. Meanwhile, I grabbed headlines by saying, who gives a crap? How did the story even get into our A block? Where's my producer? Hey, how did the story get in the A block? We only have an A block. Uh, are you? I'm sure. OK. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy testified in front of a House panel and conceded he did not know the price of a postcard stamp. Hey, I can do you one better, Louis. I didn't know you guys still made postcard stamps. Actually, do they still make postcards? And if they do, who's selling them? And better yet, who's buying them? Send me picture postcards from LA. I'm guessing the same people who are rocking those rotary phones and get all crazy when dialing up a business and here, if you're calling from a touchtone phone, <laughs> and can't partake in the touchtone fun, so instead must remain on the line for the next available agent. But in 2020, I mean, everyone really should be using touchtone phones by now, right? If I was president, I would demand it, and I'd have all the business phone prompts updated too. You better be calling from a touchtone phone. You people should move on from your floppy disks too. A Michigan woman was declared dead only to wake up two hours later in a funeral home. You guys hear about this oops moment? The paramedics had performed CPR and other life reviving methods for 30 minutes, but given medical readings and the condition of the patient, they concluded she likely was no longer alive. This is my De Niro face. Likely no longer alive? Is that the new benchmark? This sounds like when Roger Goodell found Tom Brady guilty of deflating footballs and suspended him, citing it was more likely than not that he knew that they were deflated. Of course, those were footballs. While well, this is, you know, a person, it's more likely than not that she's dead, Jimmy. Just zip her up. Uh, you know, if we get a move on it, we could probably make it to Arby's for the luncheon special. We have the meat. And finally tonight, and sticking with people nearly dead, Sean Connery turned 90 this past week. The original 007 is now Agent 090. And I hear his first day at the nursing home didn't go so well. I was told it went uh, something like this. <clears throat> blonde. That blonde. I'll have a go at her. Cindy Lou? Oh, she can't take her eyes off me. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you jackass. She's blind. Perhaps I can suggest the strategy. Just put your gun back in your holster. Yikes. Well, that's all the time I have. Until next time, I'm the Garage Comedian. And remember, it's always a beautiful day for a joke. Yeah, there's a reason for that, jackass. She's blonde. I meant, she <laughs> I meant she's blind. My little pony, my little pony. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more funny videos like this, click the subscribe button. The more you know.